true. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> well, when uh, last we met our heroes, here, let me pop this up. Boom! That's where Boom we were. Ski. Um, you guys had uh, found your way into the sunken temple. Oh, um, shit, that's right. Slowly, uh, kind of carefully trying to open a door until Beric slid on his ass. Uh, and then uh, some, some sea hags may have come to play, disguised as very ugly old women. Um, after dispatching them and blowing some spells, you guys uh, wandered into uh, what looked to be a theater, a theater, uh, where Calliope saw a uh, harp on a pedestal surrounded by spirits that were uh, playing, uh, and uh, snatched it up. And uh, after being warned that um, by Korak that maybe these in entities were not necessarily what they seemed, she grabbed it anyways and began to to play. Uh, and after a, a moment, the um, the entities became uh, dark husks of their original selves and immediately attacked the party. Um, oh shit! It was a difficult. Uh, encounter, but it seemed to be going uh, well until uh, one of your party members, Beric, um, started to attack uh, his friends. And uh, that's where we left off with the Wraith uh, reaching out to Korak. Uh, not Calliope. I said Korak. There we go. Um... Oh boy, I forgot oh. that I was being flanked. That's sweet. Yeah, yeah, it's going real good. Um, but the good news is he reached out with his his icy graph graph. Um, yeah. And no, and cool. Korak, you see him coming and kind of flinch out of the way, um, just as his hand kind of scrapes past your armor, making a scraping noise. Uh, which brings us to Valorin, your turn. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh. Okay, Valorin will um, uh, reaches down into her um, component pouch as she is kind of backing away from the wraith a little bit and fumbling for a spell component. Realizes she's getting swung at by Beric. Uh, she turns around and pulls out a... Um, it looks like a cup on the end of a leather a leather cord, which she just drapes over her finger and starts pulling it up while she's chanting. I need you, Dane, to make mm -hmm. me a constitution saving throw. That ain't gonna do it, friend. Uh, I think my DC is 7, no, 15. Sorry, dude, what's our spell DC? How do I see this? Definitely higher than 9, I'll tell you that much. Yeah. All right, so you start, you rise vertically uh, 20 feet into the air. 17. Oh. Yeah. So I cast Levitate on you. Um, All right. So you are, you are levitating. Um, and she says, uh, sorry, the fall won't hurt you. I promise. And that's my Levitate. Um, so I'm assuming he can't do anything to me from up there. So what do I know? He's floating about 20 feet above you? Yep. Alright. Alright, yeah. And I have concentration on that. Concentration up to 10 minutes. Uh, yep, yep. Dane, you, you can see and hear uh, Valorant kind of almost pleading with you as she uh, casts Levitate on you. Uh, there's almost like an apologetic look in her eyes. Yep. And you mm -hmm. just float up unwilling. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But yeah, if I lose concentration, you just float back down harmlessly. So, oh look at die. that! That's nice. Yep. They thought, well, it's, it's so you can't like kill a huge creature with a second level spell by just floating them a thousand feet in the air and then dropping it. That's that's good. That's yeah. Good. Um, and she's gonna turn around to the white and just blow the hair out of her eyes and say. What's up? <laughs> I'm done. Uh, Calliope, you're up. I'm going to... Hmm. 
Am I remembering correctly that like we had decided that only certain types of damage affected these things, or was that the hacks I'm thinking of? I only think we fought a round or two. Yeah, you didn't you didn't fight that long into it. Um, yeah. I believe <clears throat> that during one of the fights, because I truly don't remember which one, someone had called out that magic weapons seemed to do more damage. Yeah. Okay. I, yeah, I didn't know if that was this fight or the the hags. I mean, you can attempt to try to recall something. That's cool. I'm just going to do a spell. I'm going to... I'm just going to take a five. I'm in melee with just Spectre 2, right? Uh, yes. I'm going to take a five foot step to stay in range of Spectre 2. Okay. But I think that will put me... <laughs> can I... Why can't I target these people? Yeah, 10 feet, 15. Excellent. They're all in range. Um, I am going to cast Spirit Guardians. Spirit Guardians. Oh. So the little <laughs> cherubs start. What's the radius in that? 15? 15, yeah. So the little cherubs start flitting about and giggling. <laughs> Freaking cherubs. Oh, uh, so they're underneath Barrack's feet. No, that's mommy. That's a, okay, that's I'm going to sit you down and you try to poop, okay? He's these little cherubs under his feet. Yeah, and I can choose, and I, I won't have them um, Try to poop. Attack. Okay. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> try it, dude. Try me poop. I, I, I can't. Now I'm, not when you're watching. Um, my mic. It was my mic unmuted. I'm sorry. <laughs> Are when you I walked no, we, we were just talking unmute. about poop. Yeah, sorry. Poop already. <laughs> Coincidence. No big deal. <laughs> no uh, just... <laughs> sorry. And as a bonus action, I will um, give Korak a bardic inspiration. So you've got a D8. Um, yeah, so Spirit Guardians, it's the start of their turn or when they enter okay. the space. So nothing actually happens until their turn. That's it. Abe, is that ghost actually, is that the ghost that's inside Barrack? Uh, this one? Mm hmm Yes. Okay, so I don't have that one. That one does not get hit by me. Oh, shit. I just freaking... Because it's... Um... Right, because he's too high. Uh, he wouldn't... He did not get hit, no. <clears throat> well, yeah, none of them have gotten hit yet, but... But yes. Uh, so that's your turn? Yes. Alright, Nuli's up. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. No. Um... Did you go? Yeah. <laughs> did you go potty? <laughs> Newly's gonna fly in against. Korak was swinging at the wraith, right? Right, Chris. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah Newly's like... gonna fly in. Um, thirty. Hello, feet. Milby. No, it's not Hello. <laughs> Hello. 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 Hi, Parker. Hello. Hello. That Milby. Okay, time to go potty. Go. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna use the help action on Korak's next attack. Nice. You have advantage on one attack, and then Newly's going to fly another 30 feet. That's way too far. 30 feet. There. Excellent. Yep. It's Newly. Yay, Newly! Um... Sorry, guys. I'll be right back. What do you think? Are you pooping yet? <clears throat> Poop day. He is. This is this is a ruse. It's all a big <laughs> scheme mm. to not sleep, <laughs> to not go to bed. Yes. Yep. <laughs> Next, it'll be he's thirsty. Um, so at the start of the the white's turn, uh, wisdom the... saving throw. Wisdom. Yeah. I call shenanigans. Uh, They're real good at that saving. Yeah, hey, remember how you totally wrecked the last battle with this spell? Yeah, it was. It takes this much radiant damage. Oh shit. Ooh. Okay. And its speed yeah, is halved. Yeah. It's cool. It's cool. 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 You know, um, you're just making yourself a target, right? <laughs> yeah, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah. Speaking of which, um, 
and I don't know if you have the ability to, but he is he is going to float past you, but he's not leaving your circle. Ugh, son of a... Um, and he is going to... I was ready to punch him. He is, he is not happy about that, and he's going to reach out and hear this... Uh, that was good. I know, right? And he is going to try to drain a little life, but it did not work. <laughs> Jerk. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know if you can see an undead angry, but he looks angry at the moment. Mm. Um, Calliope laughs. Ha ha ha. Um, <laughs> Frederick, you're up. So Barrick's still going after us, right? Barrick's floating up in the air, though. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's currently 20 feet oh, in the air. Oh, he's incapacitated. Okay. He is, he is possessed, but floating. Pizzazz was asked. Yep. All right. Well, I will. Gosh, what will I do? I'm gonna move over to this wraith over here. <coughs> mm-hmm. 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 And... Smite it. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna magic missile it. That doesn't even make sense why I'd move. I'm just gonna sit in my chair. <laughs> and I'm gonna magic missile the wraith. Legs legs crossed. Yep. He got some magic missiles. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm gonna do. Mm, indubitably. Uh, pew, pew, pew. <laughs> so I normally get, what, three? Three, but I'm going to do a higher level. So I'm going to do four darts. <clears throat> Someday. Sure. Sailor say brandy. You're a fine girl. All right, and then I'm going to yell at Beric. Cut it out, man. <laughs> uh, you, you get a sense like he may have heard you. Okay. All right, you doing anything else? That's, that's it for my turn. All right. Uh, <clears throat> this uh, spectral here is going to stay the course. <laughs> and reach out to you, Korak, with a... Wisdom saving throw. Oh, son of a... <laughs> <laughs> With a wisdom saving throw, he's gonna take some damage. He failed that. <clears throat> oh, oh shit! Good rolls. Damn. Best spell ever. Pretty good. Wow. Okay. Um. Yeah. You know what? <clears throat> so as he begins to reach out, there's a. There's a, uh, a guttural <laughs> as some cherubs uh, kick him in the hind in the balls. side, right in the nuts. Uh, and yep. with that, his attention immediately turns, and he is going to run at you. Uh, it's right, it's fine. <laughs> it's cool, it's cool, 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 cool. He's going to reach out. Yeah, now we're talking. Yeah, um, that'll teach Calliope to cast the spell. So you take that and oh your maximum hit points uh, decreases by 14. It's fine. It's fine. It's cool. It's cool. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Um, so that, that dealt you real damage, right? Right, Rachel? Uh, I yeah, yeah I, had, I had 12 temporary hit points. <clears throat> so yeah, make sure I you didn't double dip. Uh, yeah, 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 that worked. So you... I need to make a save. Yeah, because I have I have two wounds now. Yeah. Yeah, you're and good. my max is currently fourteen lower. Yep. I'm back. Okay. Welcome back. Um, hey. I need to make a Constitution save. Oh yeah, if you could maybe not do that, that'd be that'd be great. <sighs> what do you need to make? Ten, right? Ten or half the damage. Ten or half the damage. Yeah, Whatever is higher. I'm good. Damn. I mean, no, you know what? Good for you. You're doing, you're doing, doing good. 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 You, you know how else you can make her drop concentration? <sighs> Knock her unconscious. Uh. <sighs> All right. Well, Spectral Two is going to uh, roll a Wisdom save. Good night, guys. Oh God! <laughs> he fails again. Uh. Oh, oh man. Oh my God. Brutal. Oh. <laughs> Rolling really well for those. <laughs> right. he, with a ghastly. <laughs> Abe, I'm preparing a reaction uh, for this, by the way. Oh, good. Like for his attack? Uh, yeah, if he hits him, I'm preparing a reaction. All right. He's, uh, he's Before you attacking. deal damage. He's trying to attack. He missed it. <sighs> okay. 
<laughs> no pressure. Um, Frederick, yes, I sir. am going to go ahead and force you to roll something. <gasps> you succeeded. It. It's fine. It's cool. It's cool, cool, cool. Uh... I, have to, I have to read something now. <laughs> uh, success, blah, 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 blah. I just want to make sure I'm reading this correctly. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Alright, so that's uh, that guy needs to do this. Okay. Um, Barracker, uh, Danny, you back? I'm here. But, um, do, you have a, do you have a bow on you? Nah. Do you have a, do you I ain't my saint. Do you have a javelin? <laughs> nah, man. <laughs> uh, go ahead and make an attack against uh, Valoran. You want know, one-handed or two-handed? Uh, one-handed, because you're about to throw your hammer. <laughs> oh, so I have, to make an, I have to make a dexterity attack, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, then... Appreciate you. Appreciate you trying here, Dane. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. Dexterity plus one. Uh, you can do it. I can do it. Add one to that. <laughs> All right. Is that good uh, enough to hit? <laughs> roll a roll a just a straight strength. Straight strength. Yeah, we want to see how far that yeah. hammer goes. Oh, boy, it goes yeah. really far. So, <laughs> uh, Valor, you, you quickly see him kind of pull My back. Hammer. He's kind of floating a little on his back, and then he kind of lunges forward and just whips his, his hammer, and it just goes rogue Feeling. and flies uh, against the wall. There's a, there's, there's a large <laughs> as it knocks several tiles off the wall um, and uh, is laying over here. <laughs> Valoran just looks up at Beric and just gives him a sad head shake. <laughs> He's like, be cool, man. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, Korak, you're up. <laughs> Alright. Let's see if I finish off Ray. Alright, so I get advantage for the first... Uh, yeah, first one's an advantage. So, use the great First one's free. Feet. Mm. First one's always free. Everybody gets one. There it is. Oh, yes. So it's going to be so good. It's going to be so good. <laughs> Go out there, damn it. Yeah. Suck it, Wraith. Ow. <laughs> oh, God. That was some good rolls, right. too. Uh, second attack, I'll do non, non feet roll. Mm. There we go. Mm. Wow. Okay. Tiny. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so you slash through once, and its form, uh, you know, unnaturally kind of coalesces into the sword. Uh, and as you pull it back through, you just swing around uh, and and do a nice little uh, spin maneuver. And as you spin back around, what was once uh, a wraith just simply dissipates uh, and dissolves in front of you. All right, all right, sweet. Claire, Claire's here. Hi. It's Claire. <clears throat> oh hi! Oh good, they could use your help. Okay. Uh, we would love your help. <laughs> really, Kali, if you need your help, we're we're doing okay. Direct me <laughs> in the direction I need to punch, and I will punch it. <laughs> so Go to the chairs. <laughs> you rolled a natural one, though. Ooh. All right, so let's let's see here. Actually, I didn't I didn't even roll her. Yeah, I just put her at one. I've been I've been skipping her. So when she gets in, I'll have her roll. Um. All right, Hello. so okay, so we skip you. Oh, Korak, do you have another attack? Or are you out? Uh, nope, that's it. All right. Uh, Claire, have you loaded yet? Mm, it's it's loading. Loading. Um, so the party loading. found their way into a sunken temple. Uh, that was filled nice. with sea hags. Uh, nice. And they found a floating, playing harp 
that Calliope very quickly snatched up, mm. which turned into some evil ghost creatures swarming the party and possessing Barrett. It's Real fine. nice, Calliope. But Real nice. Fred's just sitting in the chair shooting magic missiles, so it's cool. <laughs> um, did it's you try attacking the darkness? Mm-hmm. That is essentially what you guys are doing. First, right first thing now. we tried. I don't know. That's all I got, guys. <laughs> um. All right, I'm loaded. <laughs> all right, let me give you a map. Ah, oh, maps. maps. Oh, that looks bad. Yeah, yeah. You're just sitting in a chair. Um, we'll just. I guess we'll just leave you. Where you Not are. watching the show. Uh, yeah, so the big giant circle is a circle of friendly cherubs that have been kicking ghosts in the nuts. Yep. Um, that, and please correct me if I'm wrong here, won't hurt you. Um, they just hurt bad people. Yeah. Is uh, that what the stick figures are? Yep, those are cherubs. <laughs> uh, the, nice. square, the square above is where uh, the possessed barrack threw his hammer. And um, yeah. yeah, barrack's bad. Yeah, Beric is currently floating right now, 20 feet above everyone, um, mm, looking yeah, very just misunderstood. angry. Oh, P.S. If anyone wanted that hammer, now's the time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, Swift Eye is pretty quick. You might be able to make sure. it there and back. I um, would gladly relinquish my hammer to my friends. That meant we would achieve <laughs> oh, oh, somewhere, somewhere, Paylor is just smiling. <laughs> <laughs> He's just sitting there smiling. Pretty sure Paylor's the Fonz. No greater <laughs> love than to lay down one's hammer for a friend. That's Aww. right. Wee, wee, wee. Friendship. <laughs> um, uh, but Swift Eye, you, you, are, you are up. Oh, sweet. Um, I've just been sitting in this chair the whole time. <laughs> you totally, well, you were you know in the back, and then you were like, maybe I should help. And then you kind of woke up from a nap. Oh, okay. Uh, do I know where the hammer went? Uh, you heard it clang uh, to the north of you. It's mm. in that square. How far away is that from me? Oh, that's... You might have heard Beric take a couple swings at Valoran already. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and Valoran's been like, come on, bro. Bro, bro. I got shield for days. <laughs> it's, it's really impressive, the shield that you have. Yeah. Yeah. Um. How far am I from the hammer? Um. Uh, five, oh, it's a little square to the north. Five. Uh, it's about thirty feet. Thirty feet. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna run there, pick it up, and then I'm gonna Use run it, can... back to right to using a key point and step of the wind. Mm. Key. I'm going to run real fast. Got my light up shoes on. Yeah, I would say with the impact that it made, you, you feel pretty confident exactly where it is just by the sound alone. Uh, you very easily run over there, snatch it up. Um, where are you running to? Uh, I'm going to... I'm gonna hit number two. Gives you an extra attack. You have an extra uh, attack with the hammer. You totally do. You can attack twice. So you're gonna attack uh, white two. Mm hmm. Uh, and I, just for better lack of a thing, uh, just um, attack it with your. Just attack it with one of your fist weapons, and then I'll roll the damage if you hit. Boom. Son of a bitch. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Let's just uh, do this. Uh, so from out of nowhere, uh, Swift Eye kind of just wakes up out of a nap uh, and and, and kind of you know, darts around, kind of looks around, uh, sensing the environment, and then runs over to where the hammer clanged to the ground and runs forward and slams this guy. Oh, I got to fix that because it's... Which one are we doing? Two. Let's take that back off. That's better. Uh, and 
let's make sure this rolls critically. Is that a giant rat? Where? I mean, maybe. Two two rows behind Frederick. Oh, that's a horse. That's Frederick. Oh, that's, <laughs> oh right. <laughs> right. I forgot about the horse. I don't knock my horse. <laughs> Jesus, his horse. <laughs> All right, there we go. That's his crit damage. Oh, that's that's such good damage. Boom. Okay, um, and we'll just leave it as that. But you can attack twice, so you get a second attack. Uh, this very, it, you're surprised how light this hammer is. You you smack it so quickly, you're you're kind of caught off guard, and you swing back and slam again. Okay, I was gonna say you critical mm. again, um, but you you still did some pretty good damage. You are probably about meow. All yeah. right. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, he's dead. Okay. I say you, he did. That's better. Uh, Valorin, you're up. Okay. Um, I'm going to cast Magic Missile at third level. Mm. Oh, shit. I lied. I don't have that. <laughs> I am going to cast <laughs> um, Mulligan. Yep. Do you have to I'll break cast. concentration to cast anything? Nope. Not unless it, it itself is concentration. I see. Yeah. Um, so I'll cast Magic Rizzle from my scroll. Mm. Um, see? That's 99 coins you've ever spent. Wait, does it look like these... Are, are these undead, like, floating? Do they look like they can fly? Uh, they definitely don't seem to be touching the ground. Okay. I had a crazy idea, but I'm not going to do it. Um, yeah, I'm casting Magic Rizzle. I'm going to do one at each of them and hope I get lucky. I'm going to press my mm. mm. So, right to Ha-cha! Spectral. Oh, you're okay. You're rolling right on him. Good. 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 Ha-cha! Oh, no. Not going well. Meatballs are not just flying lucky. everywhere. Ha-cha! Oh, no. <laughs> not that great. Um... Uh, Valorant just, like, purses her lips a little bit, and she looks up at Barrick and says, You alright up there, big guy? Got any more hammers you want to throw? I'm done. I don't think so. (laughs) (laughs) Clap me, you're up. I am going to... Um, I'm just going to cast Thunderclap. Right on me. Uh-oh. No, it's fine. It's not going to affect me. But... Does it affect Oh, me? no, it won't. No, it's only within five feet. So it should just hit them. Oh, sweet. Now is the time. Fucking hey. Do they have to roll saving throws or something? Uh, I already made did. them roll. Oh, nice. Uh, Got two of them. Damn. So is that a, is that a bolt of lightning that comes out? It is. It's thunderclap. So it's just my cantrip. Um, it is burst of thunder is sound. It's thunder damage. Nice. Uh, so you uh, you poing, and the strings go wild, and the, the there almost seems to be an orchestra playing that Korak and Swift Eye can kind of pick up, uh, and and from around you this just blast of energy and. Uh, Two of these individuals just simply uh, dissipate out of uh, out of this blast zone. Nice. Bling. Uh, and then I'm just gonna hang out where I am. All right, Nooly. Uh, Nooly's gonna. No, it's gonna give Korak. Actually, no. Well, no, Frederick doesn't even need advantage for magic missiles. Yeah, I'll give Korak advantage against that uh, specter and then fly over here. Nice. The uh, the presence of Nuli flies past you. Uh, uh, catching the specter off guard, flies away. Hoot hoot. All right, Frederick, you're up. All right, I'm going to shoot magic missile again. Pew, pew, pew. Uh, signature spell. Pew, 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 pew! Oh, excuse me. 
So from the seat, you see him uh, kind of sitting there in the auditorium, finger gunning. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, wait. I think that's, you were targeting the ghost. That's yeah. what I was trying to do. Is that okay? Uh, so that. you can um, attack Barrick. I don't want to do that. Let me attack the other guy then. Uh, do you want me to re-roll, or do you want to use those... Uh, go ahead and re-roll. I don't honestly think it'll make a difference, but let me, I'll fix Ghost 2 if you had him targeted. Oh, I was... <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, there oh. it is. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> he was, like, one damage away. <laughs> oh my god. So, uh, Fredericks is sitting there blasting finger guns, and from out of his guns come, uh, white silvery bolts that just blast this specter into nothingness. Sweet. As a bonus action, can I start to scribble really, really vigorously into my prayer book? No reason. That can happen. Okay. I'll text you what I'm scribbling. <laughs> Alright, I'm ready. Um, Hail Satan! That's what I'm <clears throat> scribbling. Ghost 1. Come on, Ghost 1. Um, let's play the game. What's in Barrick's inventory? Are you just going to have him like, start throwing all his potions at the ground? <laughs> oh, you do not have a lot. Um, Ghost temper tantrum. Turn his, turn his bag of holding inside out. Mm. Just to be a dick. Mm. Have a um, bag of holding? <laughs> doesn't everyone? No, I think there's only two. I think there's the bag of holding and the book of holding. I was just Josh, and I was just goofing, guys. Um, all right. I have the uh, tree of life. Shit. Dane, go ahead and make an attack against Frederick. Frederick. Uh, it's going it. to be uh, dexterity, so you can just roll your dexterity or normal attack or whatever you want to do. Hoop. What's your DC, Fred? My DC? For oh my dexterity? Uh no uh your AC sorry armor class. Oh twenty one. Son of a B. Um, so you see Frederick. Uh, I'm sorry. You see Barrett kind of reaching around, and then he pulls from his backside a silver battle axe, and he whips it at you with all its might. Um, Not cool, man. Go ahead and make a dexterity save, Frederick. No reason. Got your horse. <laughs> uh, you hear a... Uh, and you, you turn around, and the horse just barely jumps out of the way uh, of a Shoot, of a very large battle axe that goes spinning out of control. Mm. And clanks down over there. You had more in your pockets. <laughs> uh, Korak, you're up. Uh, so everything's dead except the ghost... Possessing Barrett. Uh, that's what it seems. Uh, hmm. I'm looking to see what's in. Okay, I have, I have some bullet shoulder plates still. I'm gonna take one of those and just kind of shot put it at. Barrack and yell out the power of Vandergaard compels you <laughs> I will exercise the demons so you're just uh, throwing some uh, random scales at him yeah it's, it's, yeah well let's uh, it might work See it I could can, uh, knock him to his side Uh, roll, uh, just roll your regular ranged attack. And then that's, uh, proficiency is plus three and max is plus three. Nice. Yeah, so, uh, a couple of, uh, random bits of equipment seem to hit you, Barrick. You can feel sure. it. Uh, but, um, other than that, it doesn't seem to do much. Actually, bloop. and bloop. there 
go. Um, definitely feel like you may have been cut. You uh, do anything good. else there, Korok? Nope. Uh, Barak, right here, he went. Swift Eye, you're up. Um, the battle seems to have kind of ended, um, but there, there's an underlining tension that you seem to feel. What is this underlying tension that I seem to feel? <laughs> it's just sexual <laughs> tension. <laughs> mm. It's it's sexual tension. <laughs> yep. Between who? You don't know. That's a scary thing. <laughs> <laughs> Could be anybody. Huh. Oh man. All right, you do. Uh, you, you doing anything else? You gonna stay put? You gonna arm an action? Uh, I'm gonna play some smooth jazz on my Tresendial mini horn, <laughs> just to set the tone. <laughs> There's sexual nice. tension. Let's just add a little pizzazz. <laughs> Should I roll for that? Yes, always performance. But I have. A horn roll, also. Uh, Calliope, roll your uh, your damage for those cherubs. Oh yeah, I mean it's not the worst horn music you've ever heard. Calliope kind of cringes a little of the bit, great but bard it's can it's true. <laughs> 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 uh, damn, twenty damage. Um, what, what, what are they attacking? Barrick, you um almost let out a scream, but you can't hear it. Um, you're almost inside of your own body screaming, uh, as some cherubs seem to be attacking your, <gasps> your hind quarters. No, <laughs> the cherubs. You go up 20 feet. No, uh, they, it's no. I think they could reach him. I may or may not have forgotten. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> Valorin, you're up. Uh, Valorin, oh man, she looks around dumbfounded um i does anyone have any ideas i'm going to spend uh, an action abe to see if i can roll a religion to see if i know anything about ghost possessions nice does that work roll it up i mean anything could work i, I don't have a, i don't have religion but i'm going to roll it anyway <clears throat> uh you have, you remember one night in a, in a dark library kind of reading and, and thinking, when would I ever need to know about this? And you very quickly read over it. Uh, you definitely remember that uh, possessions, uh, unless forcefully evicted, Mama they typically stay there out. until uh, until the host is dead and then they find another body. Okay. Uh, cool, 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 cool. Uh, Valorin, thanks for a minute, Yo. says... Me. Sorry, team. I think we're going to have to put the muscle on him. <laughs> I mean, the cherubs Kill are. They seem to almost me. be surrounding him. And that's my turn. Cherubs. I, I am going to drop spiritual guardians. Cherubs. Aw, I just finished drawing them. I'm going to whip out the magic carpet. Let me just whip this out. <laughs> I'll fly up. I'm going to get in Barrack's face. I'm going to shake my finger at him. I'm not going to get where he can touch me, though, because he's going to throw shit at me. <laughs> and I am going to look deep into his eyes and try to see the ghost inside. And I'm going to attempt to cast Suggestion on the ghost inside of Beric mm -hmm. and say, Hey, get the fuck out! <laughs> Eviction notice. That doesn't sound like a suggestion. <laughs> Uh, uh, Beric, you you okay, see out, out of okay. uh, you should get the fuck out. <laughs> out of your would you, you're supposed to start. Would you kindly? Would you would you please possibly get the fuck out? Um, you see your friend flying up on a carpet. She gets very close to your face. Uh, she gets her finger out and starts shouting at you. The words are very mumbled and kind of jumbled. She looks angry with you, but nothing seems to happen. All right, I can't actually target the ghost. All right. Don't be mad. Doing anything else? Um. This is your magic carpet. No. All right. 
Well, that was a wasted spell slot. Thanks, Barrick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nuli's up. <laughs> Uh, as a bonus action, can I hit him with a wand of smiles? Newly's going to sit yes. on Korak's shoulder. Bonus action. N- yeah, N- Newly's going to like sit on Korak's shoulder and just kind of like idly pick at his hair with her beak. All right. Who's got some high-level abjuration spells? Frederick, you're up. I mean, I do, but I already asked Abe if Dispel Magic. Do any of them? No. Said probably not. Damn. I have Counter Charm, but I don't think that's going to do it either. I have a spell to prevent it, but I don't have a spell to dispel it. I I wouldn't think Cure Wounds would work. Um, I think we're just going to have to kill you, Dane. We can bring now, you do back. you kill me, or can you just knock me unconscious? I don't know. Ape was pretty explicit. Wait a minute. Does that mean that we have to possess so someone else? Kill me. Yeah, then we can like, kill the ghost. Yeah, what if you taunt him viciously? <laughs> <What if> I, <laughs> uh, <laughs> to, I'm going to try to cast command. Can I try to cast command on the ghost? Okay. That's a one-word command. Um, is that a, is that a spell? No. Yeah, GTFO it's a spell. Is the word. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Can I use the word GTFO? <laughs> I'll allow that to be one word. Doesn't mean um, I understand it. Right. I'm trying to think of through my one word very carefully. Uh, I'm gonna use the word release. Um, you kind of reach deep within yourself and then you grasp your holy talisman and, uh, you reach out and you, you just, it's a, it's a very deep and guttural and there's some kind of resonance that forms from these words and you simply shout release. Oh, he's still floating there. Damn it. I'm going to go back to scribbling. (laughs) All right. Oh. Well, that's good. Um. Hmm. Son of a bitch. Uh, all right. What else you got in your bag? I've got a holy sun shard, Pelor. Nope. Mm-mm. As the bane to <laughs> entities. Uh. <laughs> All right, go ahead and roll an attack against uh, Frederick. Uh, dexterity again? Yep. Okay. Just whipping shit. Yeah. Nope. Um, go ahead and mark off 12 gold. Oh, and, gold! Uh, Frederick, 12 gold just goes flying past you. You hear some random... <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Nothing hits you. Um... Why do I have so much gold? That can't be right. Uh, I don't have that much gold. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. Let me look at everyone else's gold. I feel like that's a... No, everyone has a lot of gold. You guys guys haven't spent a lot of gold. That's true. Yeah. Um, It's a lot, though. um, It's a lot, a lot. All right. Korak, you're up. Um, Korak's just going to... Say to everybody, uh, maybe the ghost will just get bored if we <laughs> leave. And he's going to start looking around for something interesting to investigate. All right, yeah, roll a, roll an investigation check. Uh, yeah, you, you look around and uh, you notice that these chairs that they were sitting on, uh, you know, seem to be almost carved out of, excuse me, out of like a marble. Um, the statues on the stage seem to be unnaturally pristine, um, where everything else in the auditorium seems to be kind of taken over with some age. Um, from here, that's that's about all you can see. You, you see a glitter of two of uh, gold pieces that Barrick just threw out of his pockets.
Uh, can I go and check out one of those statues? Yeah. Uh, as you um, get closer, um, I'll let you keep the same roll. Um, there seems to be some, um, you know, sea-like plants that were growing to the left of it. Um, it seems to be carved, and it's it's a humanoid that seems to be holding um, what looks to be a book. Is it a carved book or an actual book? Uh, it's a carved book, made out of stone. Or some kind of stone-like thing. All right, that's probably more than six seconds from me, so... <laughs> uh, Barrick already took his turn. Swift Eye, uh, the party seems to be a little confused. Um, can I sense the... Um, Confusion? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> possession was more of a question. <laughs> I think the confusion's pretty powerful. Um, you having having listened to the first half of the battle, you can definitely tell that Barrick uh, has not said anything, and you kind of piece together pretty quickly that he seems to be not in his own control. Can I sense the ghost? I mean, you could try. How would you sense it? Sit? Perception. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do I got? I mean, you you could try. You have you have like the hearing of a bat. Yeah, I want to try to like listen or smell the ghost or something. Hmm. I'm gonna try to listen and smell for the ghost at the All same right. time. Listen, smell. I like it. Yeah, you you listen, smell really good. Um, not so much smell, but um. Oddly enough, um, the commotion seems to be in front of you, but you also hear some kind of uh, almost uh, unnatural, like, deep breathing from over in this direction. Doesn't oh. seem to be of this world. That's unnerving. Is it the horse? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I'm a I'm a backflip my way in that direction and listening. Uh, all right, now, so Frederick, if you had focused on turning undead and not making undead horses, none of this would happen. Right. <laughs> you always doing it wrong. Uh, I'm gonna say you you you're able to backflip, but it's gonna take you a whole another turn to try to listen in. I'll wait. Uh, Rainbow brings us to Valorant. Valorant's gonna back up. Uh, about 15 feet and she's going to say uh, uh, how about this I lower him y'all weigh it whale on him and then someone get ready to bring him back to life once we kill him it's foolproof right <laughs> who's got a resurrection spell they'll be fine they'll Just... be fine once he falls unconscious the ghost is going to leave I read about it in a book once it'll be fine does Frederick have revivify if things go sideways? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Does, does Frederick have any spell slots left for healing? <laughs> Frederick has mostly been focusing on his time in the ring, so definitely no. Yeah. Uh, right. <laughs> so we have to rely on, like, a potion. Yeah. That's fine. We got plenty of those. Yeah. So I'm going to... Uh... Yeah. I'm going to hold my action. Or I'm, I'm going to drop levitation once uh, once everyone looks like they're ready. All right, so you're kind of holding that. All right. Yep. Can you just tell me when you want to drop it? Uh, this is uh, hurt. Brings us up to Goliath. Ah, uh, oh, okay. Um, Unless anyone has a better plan. I am going to... All right. It's gonna hurt. I'm gonna. Oh yeah, it's gonna bleed. <sighs> what a minute. I mean, look at it this way. I didn't kill your character. I. That's is true. This really, our best option. <laughs> you made my friends kill me, which is even worse. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of another time I died. <laughs> my uh, me. Uh, <laughs> oh, R.I.P. Uh, Moon. R.I.P. All right, I am. Um, oof. Um. 
Yeah, I don't think Counter Charm's gonna do anything. Um, Calliope's gonna hold an action to cast blindness on Barrick. Harm would harm no? Harm would no. He's dead. <laughs> so she's gonna hold an action to cast blindness, but her like six seconds of free action talking, she's gonna lean forward and she's gonna rap on Barrick's holy symbol and be like, hey, douche lore, he needs you. Step up. And pray to Pelor. Wow. That's how you're going to pray. You're going to call him Douche Lord. Holy <laughs> shit. Go ahead and make a, um, make a persuasion check. <laughs> make it hit. Uh, oh, mighty Douche Lord. You, get, you don't get to know. Save this soul. Here is Douche Lord. Uh, okay, I need to put it into the tower. Perception, you say. All right. Uh, yep. No. Um, persuasion. Per- persuasion, not perception. Right. That makes more sense. Yeah. Oh, my persuasion is Bala. Could, could be good. All right. Good to know. <clears throat> good to know. See what happens. Okay. And then she's right. going to hold an action to cast blindness on him. <laughs> uh, Nuli's still perching? Oh, she's over here. Uh, yeah, she's just on uh, Korak's shoulder. Nice. Also, Kalibi, you a plus 13? That's insane. <laughs> yeah, well, somebody keeps giving me bonuses to my charisma, so... <laughs> all of all of our everything is pretty ridiculous. <laughs> uh, Alright, Frederick, you're up. I don't even know what to do. Um... I say we try to kill him. I'm going to yell to the team. I say, let's try to take him out, and I can use Spare the Dying. There we go. So let's try to just, let's try to kill him. So I'm going to yell that, and I'm going to cast Magic Missile, I guess. <laughs> I, wanna, I gotta keep my, I gotta keep, how high in the air is he right now? Uh, he's about 20 feet. Are we sure that if we kill him, the ghost isn't just going to possess him further? We don't know that. Once he's <laughs> down, we'll have corpse. to we'll have to kill the, the ghost. Won't leave until he's down. You're gonna have to cross the streams. So, so the ghost will probably jump the ghost into will someone probably else. Try to possess someone else, but I mean, uh, no one has actually tried to recall anything. I mean, for, does uh, it power. like a live host? What have we not tried to recall yet? Can you can you trap it? Uh, Valor's the only one. Yeah, you can. There's the a occult. whole movie about trapping ghosts. <laughs> I'm a yeah. cleric. I probably saw some of these possessions. Right? What, what do I know? About I mean, Who you, you, are we going to call? Are you rolling a, like a religion check? Yeah, I sure am. Oh my yeah. god, that is amazing, Ben. Alright, roll your religion. Here comes, here comes, here comes. I ain't afraid of no ghost. It's not great. Um, Yeah, bad. So, you gotta have faith! You definitely remember um, that certain uh, abilities... Uh, a date to most clerics and paladins um, can cause undead to uh, run away from holy individuals. Um, but you, you, you can't necessarily recall how to do it, but but you know it's possible. You mean uh, like turn undead? I think that's what he means. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> You've been relying on me to do that this whole thing. <laughs> That was a that was a good turn. All right. Uh, well, I will. Uh, I'm gonna use turn undead. So I'm gonna pull out my holy symbol and speak my prayer and hopefully make that thing run away. All right. Let me. I feel like Amazing. they have to make something like a saving throw. Holy, holy, holy. Yeah. So let's see. So as an action, you present your holy symbol and speak a prayer, censuring the undead. Each undead that you can see or hear you within 30 feet of you must make a wisdom saving throw. Which, what, uh, your DC, say, your AC save is, your spell saving is 14, by the way. Uh, they have to make a wisdom, you said? Wisdom saving throw, yeah. It is 14. Oh, shit, it's the first one. Uh, so one of them fails, and... I said, and one of them, there we go, and the second one fails. Um... So, so yeah, I'll start. I'm praying to my god of magic, and uh, it's been a while. 
because I've been focusing on the ring. So the words are kind of stumbling through the words a little bit. Uh, and I try that word release again, hoping that it will turn away. So it has to run away from me for a minute. Mm-hmm. Awesome. All right. Um, that is your turn. You do anything else? Seems pretty good. I'm still going to tell everybody just to kill Barrick, and I've got that. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> just because nice. I'm not confident. This Even if work. he looks fine, just kill him. I'm having a moment of, of faith now because I've been uh, not really focusing on it. So. Gotta have faith. Like, if this doesn't work, go ahead and kill him, and then I'll end my turn. Big, big, big. Um, all right. So, um, Calliope, make a perception check. You are looking in that direction. If I could possess your body. Nice. You know um, not everybody. So, in the back behind uh, Frederick appears a ghostly visage. Uh, and it immediately darts out of the way. Uh, you see it go through a wall and disappear. Appears uh, like appears out of Barrick? Or uh, out like it was from, sneaking up on us? Out from nowhere behind Frederick. <clears throat> Uh, and just, <gasps> just bolts out of the way. Um, you see its image kind of fade away as it goes through the, the, the wall back there. Um, Came from the horse. <laughs> it's a possessed horse. Um, Is that why you've been having Be Frederick make charisma checks uh, every single round? Maybe. <laughs> doing Amazing. really good. Oh, um <laughs> but as as that image kind of uh, catches your attention, um, from from Barrick's chest opens the actual uh, relic of Paylor itself, and it, it starts to give off a a uh, whitish yellowish glow. Uh, there's a moment where Barrick's body seems to almost engulf in that flame, um, and his eyes that you were very close to. Um, seem to become the normal color again and um it, he his eyes seem to focus directly on you so it, right before korak's turn i'm going to drop my concentration on the spell and say okay now korak kill him uh Beric, there's some muffled words <laughs> you start to focus on calliope and then you hear kill him <laughs> And you, you feel in control of your body again. Okay. Can I just shout, wait! <laughs> <laughs> there's a, there's a, a gutter, wait! Uh, that you hear, Corey. Um, I would just kill him anyways. Yeah. We want to be it, sure. But... We want to be sure. <laughs> I'll, I'll, uh, I'll roll a perception to see if I can this barracks eyes changing. Oh, that was close. I saw um, it. I saw it rocking. Uh, are you are you uh, are you moving closer? Uh, no, I'm just trying to look to to see because I I heard him shout, you know, wait, but I just want to see if I can be visible. His gotcha. So from there, demeanor uh, expression. His body that seemed to almost just be like floating for a moment uh, seems to start to like ridify. Uh, yep, ridify. You heard me. Uh, and, and becomes. Uh, uh, you know, the normal barrack self that you're used to, um, though he seems to be missing his weapons. So is right. going to, like, hide the hammer behind her back. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's good enough for me. I, I won't shoot him. This time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, you, uh, you doing anything else? You moving closer? Uh, no, I'm just going to keep looking around to see if there's any, like, you know... Hidden caches or anything. Nice. I forgot I have an aura of protection. Mm. I don't have a I don't have a good way of representing that other than drawing that thing and just moving it around with me. Protection. Um, yeah, Beric, you uh you come too. You you now uh can kind of uh, see and hear. Uh, you slowly feel yourself uh, descend to the ground, uh, and with a soft little, okay. pff, you land on the ground. I'm going to kind of go to my knees and kind of gasp a little bit. And um, then 
I will say, forgive me, friends. Make a perception check, Barrick. First map smell. I'm going to say with advantage in this case. Advantage. Perception. Kacha. Ultimate nice. perception. Uh, as you kind of go down on one knee and, and almost, you know, uh, apologize with your friends, uh, you notice that uh, the couple of cuts that you had received from some of their blows and um, what damage seems to have taken <coughs> before the possession seems to have disappeared completely. Hmm. Um, your armor, as if you woke the one day inside uh, the castle of yep. Vandegar, is completely clean and... Um, Smudgeless. I'm going to give thanks to Pelor and Artemir. I'll say, all you guys, I'm going to point up the ceiling. <laughs> all Calliope my gods. smirks and says, you're welcome. <laughs> <clears throat> they must have heard you. Thank you. Bella looks like she was about to say and something nice and instead just rolls her eyes and walks away. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm going to walk over to Swift Eye and put one hand on her shoulder, and then with the other <laughs> hand, just kind of gently grab my hammer. <laughs> 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 Thank you for keeping this safe, friend. Um, I'm gonna give it back, but I'm gonna hold on to it really tight as I'm giving it back. <laughs> I'll kind of, I'll kind of Just, jostle. Yeah, you're gonna have to like, seconds. yeah, pry it out of my hand, <laughs> and then, then I finally let go. Then I really, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go pick up oh, my boy. battle axe as well. Yep, you uh, very easily find it, um, right by my horse that barely made live. <laughs> um, remember, there's there's two of these ghost things still floating around. So, hey, okay, do we actually see the one leave, Barrick? Stay um, frosty. No. Well, the one that was in Frederick's horse took off in Calliope points, but I didn't see anything come out of Barrick's ass. That's because you exercise the demons. <laughs> also, I Frederick, will... we thought your horse was creepy as fuck, but it really was. Creepy. Now we know <laughs> that it's creepy as fuck. <laughs> I will cast protection from good and evil <laughs> on both myself and Frederick. One at a first level, one at a second. Thank you, friend. It's probably a good idea. That's it. That's so it I, I think we should get out of here. I don't know if I can keep those ghosts at bay. I so agree. Um, Korak, make a perception check. Uh, you notice, uh, as you kind of are, have been walking around, uh, the party themselves have been talking and you've, you've been listening, um, though you've kind of been looking around in the stage and, and kind of the craftsmanship and it, it's rather impressive how, how good, um, even though this rather old and underwater, um, building has withstand, uh, with, with stated all this, all this time, uh, when you notice that. There seems to be almost like an ivy growing up from from the the bottom, uh, and then you you get a little closer look and you realize it's not an ivy, uh, it's a, it's a crack that seems to be forming um, at first rather slowly, and now it is very quickly stretching above the ceiling. There's loud cracks popping, and by this point, you all see and hear that the roof itself uh, seems to be almost disintegrating uh, rather quickly. As oh shit, okay, right. Time to get out of here. Uh, Valor says, no, no, it's cool. Remember, you all can still breathe underwater. Nobody panic. It's about be being fine. crushed by water. Yeah. <laughs> Calliope shouts, everybody nut up! And pulls out her coconuts and goes. <laughs> uh, everyone, uh, everyone make a dexterity save with disadvantage. Oh, no. Dis oh, wait. Disadvantage. Can I add my... Uh, can I add or, my charisma modifier to ew. Frederick and Swift Eyes because they're in my order of protection? Uh, yes, you can. They get a plus five. You guys get Whoa. plus five. Nice. Thanks. I really needed that. Oh. Mm. Dropped Hold a on. 20. Dexterity. Cha-cha. 
I also get plus five, which doesn't help me much. Uh, I got eight. <laughs> it's good. It's real good. Um, so as, as uh, the party kind of shouts, we need to we need to leave. We need to get out of here. Uh, Calliope quickly pulls out her coconuts and kind of rushes ahead. Um, the rest of you uh, do make some quick haste, uh, but one by one, you seem to uh, quickly fall into darkness. Uh, first, it's it's Barrick, followed by Korak, uh. then Frederick, then Valoran, and Swift Eye. Yeah, you, there's a overwhelming pressure that's kind of building on your backside, and then all your senses fade. Uh, Calliope, you you see um, the tunnel in front of you that, that was once an opening is now crumbling in on itself, and you look back, and the whole party is gone. There is just rubble uh, and and debris everywhere before uh, your senses fail you, and you We're hear all dead. nothing else. <gasps> all that now. Just going to do a little bit of stuff here. Um. Calliope. Yeah. You feel a breeze. Um. On your backside. Uh. <laughs> you <at> your butt. <laughs> My butt. Uh. Is my butt not covered in pants. <laughs> Close up your pants. Maybe, uh, oh. Right up the pant leg. <laughs> you hear. The familiar sounds of the forest and birds and uh, a couple of animals. Uh, there seems to be some sort of presence or uh, individual talking, but it's it's hard to make out. Uh, you're very disoriented. The rest of you uh, slowly also start to hear the forest sounds uh, and this just garble of, of talking. It's, it's almost like you, you've fallen asleep uh, and been woken up in a, in, a, in a dead sleep before coming coming to and, and realizing you know where where you are. Um, doing it live, doing it live. In front of you, you see a very large figure. It, you seem to be in a crossroads. Um, where you were and where you previously were, uh, there's, there seems to be no memory. You've, you've always been here. You've always been in this crossroads. You've always been talking to this individual in front of you. Um, and slowly the words start to form. Um, and, and you hear a very deep and evil voice say to you, I am tired of you following me. We end this now. Um, I gotta we'll do a little of this, do a little of that. Um, what? And in in front of you is this massive figure. He he has claws for hands. He's he's wearing a hood. Um, and he he looks to you, Valoran. Uh, da, 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 da. And he says, "Do I recognize him uh, from my memories?" Currently, no. Uh, okay. Everything seems to be a blur. And when you when you think back, you've always just been here. You've always hmm. been standing okay. here. Um, and he looks to you and he points and he says, "Victor, you, you, I shall keep for my own." The rest of you all decide now. And I want everyone to roll initiative. I, I look down at myself. Do I, am I Victor? Is he pointing at me? He is pointing at you. Shit. Victor. Victor. Mm. Not my best rolls. So I don't have any spells, guys. Me neither. Yeah, but you have a hammer. <laughs> 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 and, uh,. Frederick and I still have protection of good, but the, that spell that I have cast was it called? Do we yeah, it's uh, notice each other? Uh, you you do. Um, a, as you kind of look around, everyone make a perception check. Do, 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 do. 
<laughs> well, I guess it would be nice. Perception. Uh, okay. somebody. So, Korak, you you instinctively turn to Victor, and and he's exactly as you remembered him. Uh, he, he's an elf. He's been your companion for for quite some time. He's always been there. At least he's always been here in this woods. Uh, Swift Eye, you look down and you find yourself standing, looking at the ground of what seems to be male feet. Which isn't strange at all. They're they're your feet. Um, everyone else slowly uh, looks at themselves and you are exactly who you believe to be. So Swift Eye can see? She, Is that what you said? she always has been able to see. You know, not everybody has got a body like you. Yes. Do I still have my harp? No. You bastard. <laughs> he told you he was going to take it away. Um, in fact, uh, you you reach back and uh, you find your, your trusty guitar, as it always is, as it always has been, uh, and there's a rapier at your side, um, which seems to be perfectly fine. Hmm. Um, close this harp of valor out. And to close the program. <laughs> <laughs> you close and the um, shut off my computer. Thanks, guys. Go bed. <laughs> Good time. It's fun. Finally got my relic. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um. So, uh, from in front of you, uh, this this very tall, um, humanoid monster, uh, says. You have hunted Miravas for far too long. And he is going to shape shift? Maybe? Possibly? He's going to do that. And he's going to do this. And he's going to do that. Bing! Uh, and immediately he becomes this very large, grotesque looking back. Uh, his, his hind legs are kind of arched. He's got, uh, huge fangs coming from his mouth. Um, and he seems to just simply be standing there. Um, Valoran slash What does he shapeshift into? A, a giant human sized bat. That fat thing? That, that, that big thing? That big old thing. Do we still have that giant saddle? We should ride him. Oh, yeah. I don't think we do. I think we're having a weird flashback. Well, I did have the saddle. Thing. Do I have the saddle? Uh, uh, no. Why would you have a large saddle? Do I have the same spells that I've always had as Victor? Um, yes. Uh, strangely enough, it's things like necromancy. Cool. What kind of spells can I cast? <laughs> I gotta find Victor. Hold on, because <laughs> um, so far I have hypnotic pattern. Uh, you shouldn't be bad. Have um, you kind of uh, reach into your your memory and and you you find uh, a couple of things. Uh, mm -hmm. you find uh, blight. Nope. Hold person. Shocking grasp yeah. and chill touch. Um, though you are feeling rather exhausted, like you haven't slept in days, um, and and you vaguely remember running, like you had to interact with something or find someone. And your amount mm. of spells are currently the amount of spells you have. You've got one of each. Uh, yeah. Victor will will look at the bat and say. Looks like we've hunted you for just long enough. Now we're going to end it. And this is going to end well for us. Definitely not poorly. Also, <laughs> I don't have any spells to cast right now. <laughs> um, yeah, sure, I'll cast Blight. Fooled you. <laughs> Psych! Yeah, Blight. Constitution saving throw. Constitution saving throw. Oh, where's my dude? Here he is. 
Con save. It's necrotic damage. I don't know if he's... Um, does anything fancy with necrotic damage. Roll your damage, find out. Erotic damage, you say. Oh, nothing but. Bow, 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 bow. I've been feeling so bad. Uh, <laughs> kind of damage. <laughs> you reach out, and there's uh, your hands kind of twist in a in a uh, unnatural presence, and you twist the magic in front of you, and you shoot it at him, and it just seems to ricochet off his wings. Yep. Great. He's immune to literally all of my magic. <laughs> Next. <laughs> this is just great. Uh, Beric, or should I say oh, no. Dark Bite? You're up. Dark <laughs> Bite. <laughs> what, what, what did Dark Bite do? What did he do? Um, he has his trusty shield and his radiant sword at his side. Uh, and you feel as, as ca- um, charismatic as, as normal, and you feel that no foe should stand before you. Uh, I'll and run at the up. bat. <laughs> I'll run at the bat guy. Charge! Charisma! I'm going to attack him. Do it. What do Sorry. I roll? Roll your normal attack. My normal, normal book. Where is where's the bat guy? Uh, isn't he in front of you? You can't see him? I don't see him. He's about 20 feet ahead of you. Oh, oh. oh there you Okay, I see him now. I wasn't zoomed out well enough. He, All right, he's a, he's a big guy. There is my two-handed swing. Kcha! Hmm, it hits. You got some uh, splaining to do. Kcha! Yeah. Um, you swing at his leg, and there's there's this. Uh, defiance within you, and you slice down, and you you feel it connect, and you you laugh at him, uh, <laughs> looking back and only seeing like a light scratch on his hind leg. Oh wait, is that it? Uh, all the attacks again? <laughs> that's all you got. Correct. All you're right. uh, you're up. Um, your trusty battle axe, your two-handed battle axe is on your backside. Uh, as you pull it forward, uh, it graved in very, um, you know, energetic words uh, in, in um, I gotta double check. Yeah, and in, in, in common, reads battle axe. Uh, <laughs> this there. is a battle axe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, you're 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 ready to run in there. Uh, you seem to be, be almost in a in a rage. What is uh, what is my? Uh, it's it's the same as your two handed sword. Battle axe. Battle axe. Battle axe. The battle axe. Yes, battle it totally axe is. Smash! <laughs> <laughs> uh, what should I roll for this? Um, oddly enough, it is uh. Your your normal two handed attack. Okay. Oh, that hit. Same damage. Yep. Convenient. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, you All you right. see the slight wound that uh um, oh my gosh, dark bite made, and uh, you uh you kind of laugh at him, pitiful, and you slash into the the axe. Kind of doing the same amount of damage, but to you, it was magnificent. Battle axe smash more. <laughs> Swing again. Magnificent. Oh, you still hit. Nice. You gotta hack into the same spot, laughing, <laughs> uh, hitting again. Um, you feel very confident. You're making some good progress. Uh, you stay put. Yep. Awesome. Um, where is my music? Where is it? There we go. To make it louder. Um, okay, so you guys, do, 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 do. this guy, but 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 um, uh, Swift Eye from out of the shadows lurks a hooded figure. It throws back its hood and it reaches out and it 
Oh, where the heck is it? Where you at? Hey! Hey! Uh, grips you uh, around the side. Um, and you feel a sharp bite within your neck. Uh, oh. And your vision slowly begins to fade. Um, and we're going to come back to you in a moment. No! Um, <laughs> um, Cork, from behind you, out of the trees, uh, comes another hooded figure. Oh, that ain't right. And it is going to hit. Uh, and it, it reaches around you and, and uh, dark bite. You see your companion slowly being gripped um, around the uh, around the neck. And there's a sharp pain within your neck. Uh, ah. And your vision slowly begins to fade. Um, and we're getting back to you in a moment. Um, uh, Valoran, from out of the shadows behind you. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Comes something. Bring it. Um, the same. You see your friends around you slowly falling. Um, there, there's this this panic that begins to set in. Not me. Not now. Uh, and your nope. vision slowly begins to fade. Um, dark bite. Do, 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 do. You're, you're about to get... About to get dark right. I'm a bit. All right. All right. Bit. The about to get got. Um, oh, it's because you have that thing on that you don't actually have. <laughs> I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> it's fine. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. 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 It's the thing. Um, where the hell is his normal attack? Well, we're just gonna roll bites. Uh, what a yeah. I was gonna say that would a that would a hit. Um, yeah. You so um. You you see uh, Battleax in his all of his might and glory start to succumb to this this vampire wretch behind him, uh, and you're you're just wailing with all your might as this vampire comes up and slices the backside of you. Your your throat now gushing with blood. Uh, mm. You become lightheaded and slowly fall to the ground. Um, just simply seeing this large bat figure in front of you just rip what little life was in you away and you fade away. Nolly's not here. Get out of here, Nolly. Um Clive's gonna save us. Uh you look down, your hands are shaking. Uh you're 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 just petrified. Jimmy Change doesn't get changed scared like this. Not like this. And you immediately fall to the ground <gasps> Roll a performance check. I had my harp was to be with advantage. <laughs> if you had your harp, we'd have uh, already won. <laughs> <laughs> um, Frederick, I mean, Benny the Bright, uh, you look back and, and you see... Um, your friend Jimmy just simply crumble to the, fr the fr uh, floor. His... his White beard Jimmy. is uh, once white, uh, dark black beard now immediately becomes white. It's it's almost like he's aged uh, rather quickly, uh, and he looks dead. Um, Jimmy Change slash Calliope, you are uh, trembling with fear and just breathing ever so shallowly, and you are feigning death. Uh, um. The giant bat creature is slowly um, eating dark bite, and that ghost doesn't even exist in this right now. Uh, Swift Eye, you are fading into darkness. Uh, Benny the Bright, otherwise known as Frederick, you're up. You are the last of your companions. 
Sorry, I was muted. What do I know about myself? Uh, you are uh, Benny the Bright, uh, a legendary fighter, uh, once cleric in nature, uh, but found his calling uh, in the ring. Uh, joined these companions some time ago, um, and you've uh, you've been searching for a great evil that plagues this land. And you uh, will stop at nothing to end it. Then I'm going to jump forward and try to... Uh... I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to try to hit them with my, uh, let's see here, hit them with my longsword. Do it. Do it. it hits. Uh, you, you kind of pull back with all your might. Now you're... There's there's adrenaline just pumping and you're just swinging with all your might and the the this, the damage itself doesn't seem to cut into it and and you just simply pray and hope that something something can help. Um, do you anything else? Um, I don't think this time that for me. All right. Um, go ahead and make a strength check. normal strength uh yeah um hmm. so um as you're <laughs> as as you're swinging away uh the giant bat you hear a whoop, whoop, whoop. and from out of nowhere these giant talons rip into your your shoulders and lift you from the ground and before you know it you're five twenty 30, 60 feet in the air and you're looking down and your friends are slowly falling around you uh, all that seems to be left is just darkness and evil. And then you're weightless. Falling. Falling to nothing. And then darkness. Oh no. Um, Calliope, you hear, Jesus, what are you doing in the lake? You can't get in there. This is ridiculous. And, and you kind of wipe the water out of your eyes. Um, and you see... God, I forget his name. God. Tozu. Is that what his name was? I forget. Tozu uh -huh. the Grumpkin. <laughs> he was the, the, the worst druid ever? Uh, Yeah, he's the best druid, and you know it. Um, <laughs> what freaking city were you guys in? Um, <sighs> Napsa. Napsa. I take good notes. We do take good notes. Oh, there he is. There's Tozu. <laughs> uh, and you. and you, you look around and you see the rest of your party is now laying on the beach. Um, they look exhausted, uh, but for the most part, better works for the wares. Um, and and you you find it, that it it was a dream, though it was very real. And Tozu is just swearing up a storm cursing he's kicking a horse and just dr <laughs> dragging you all out of the water uh you seem to be the only one that's uh come to yet do i have the harp <laughs> clutched in your hand is a folded up winged harp yes uh that you did not relinquish i like float on my back and kind of kick a little bit and play the harp while he drags me out of the water. Do you really think now is the time for music? This is ridiculous. The thing collapsed and you all just lay in there like a bunch of bumps on a log. Uh, <laughs> uh, everyone else make a constitution save. Constitution save. Con! Con! Uh, yeah, you, you all slowly kind of start to gasp for breath. Oh, thank you. Jeez. Oh, man, they're alive. I can't believe this. I mean, I guess I could have healed them, but who really has time when you all are dying left and right? Um, Fred, you're the, you, you slowly come to, uh, and it, there's a, there's a, like a pain in your chest. 
uh, your your legs feel numb, and, and for a moment you you feel paralyzed. You you can't move, uh, and you struggle for quite some time, uh, only to realize that. You seem okay. Uh, slowly, the ability to stand comes back to you, and and the rest of you are are, are slowly getting up. Um, rather exhausted at this point. Um, sure. But seem to be fine nonetheless. Do we remember anything about this dream sequence interlude? Uh, you do. You uh, seem to remember everything that just happened to you. Though it, it definitely Weird. seemed to happen to someone else. Did so everybody it, else experience that? Are you asking? asking? Yeah, I'm asking the party. I did. An odd sensation, to be sure. Battle axe! <laughs> <laughs> I saw things. I had yes. feet. Yes, I had feet too. <laughs> Did everybody have feet? Man feet. Man feet. <laughs> well, I mean, those other heroes died, but they probably weren't actually the heroes from the prophecy like we are. I, mean, um, I don't know if they're that much of a hero if they die. Swift Eye, Korak, and Valoran make a perception check. Um. Oh, I see. I was like, "What is happening?" Um. There you go. Uh, yeah, the the Valor and Swift Eye, you definitely feel as if you know you you passed in that dream. But Korak, you seem to remember the moments after being bitten, slowly coming back to wake. Um, so you're not sure if you truly died. Hmm. Well, I mean, we saw Victor. I was Victor in the dream, and we saw Victor later, so I mean he stands to reason that, that more of these fearless sons are still alive, or unalive. Yeah. They may have been turned into vampire puppets. Yeah. The dark bite is definitely not alive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Frederick, you feel pretty confident Benny the Bright, but he's, he's dead. <laughs> to be fair... <laughs> With a name like Dark Bright, he probably shouldn't be alive. <laughs> oh, oh, Al. Harsh. Oh, too soon, too soon. Is it? I never know. We just had that dream. Yeah. Uh, you, you guys hear from behind you. What the heck are y'all talking about? What in the seven hells? Adults are talking. She holds a finger up to her mouth. Oh, hey, we, uh, collapsed the temple. It's cool, though. We got what we... Yeah, I saw the temple. Why do you think I dove in in the water after you crazy people? At least you believe me. No one else in town does. But now they definitely won't, because the damn temple's destroyed. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. You would just say, yeah. Oh. You want to see my cool harp? Here's Tozu. No, I don't want to see a cool harp. I'm up here keeping the campsite. Y'all had to die in there. I was burying the horse, if you really must know. Ah. What happened to the horse? Well, you killed it when you tried to bring it through the portal. Ooh. Right. Sorry, I buried half the horse. I'm sorry for whatever villager finds that thing. Oh, right. Is the horse that was possessed but then unpossessed with us still? Uh, you do not see another horse. <laughs> Who was the horse in the dream? Uh, there was definitely no horse in the dream. Either. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Whoopsies! Uh, is there any of the horses left from that that the farrier furrier? Uh, there was a donkey. The donkey is all that's left. Oh, 
just a... Is, is it like a six to seven person donkey? Is it a <laughs> We got our we got our things. We got our coconuts. I mean, he also kind of uh, tree walked you all, which is how That's the true. horse died in the first place. <laughs> yeah, that ain't that ain't right. Oh, I can't find the freaking battle map for this. It's really bothering me. I can find Dane's favorite character, but I I can't. I can't find the battle map. It's not my favorite character. <laughs> get out of here. Get, get out of here. Get, get um, I give everyone a once over to see who is hurt. Like she, she gives Calliope a once over since you were surrounded by ghosts for a while. But you look okay. Everyone looks like pretty much okay, right? Are my is my hit point maximum still reduced? Uh currently, yes. That has not changed. But you all um, have not, you know, tried to rest or anything like that. You mm -hmm. just, uh, you definitely remember seeing the temple collapse, waking up to be uh, Jimmy Change. And Jimmy. Uh, then coming back, being pulled free from the ruins itself. Mm hmm. Well. Another relic. No one died. We did all right. Pretty good overall. How much do we know about the uh, heroes of our dream? Um, you have um, heard from a drunkard in one of the towns that there was once a band of fearless sons. Uh, they were six men. Uh, Rather so big celebrities in the time um, that died or disappeared over 80 years ago. Uh, they said to have been uh, chasing or trying to dispel some kind of great evil. One of them was Victor O'Leary, who we fought. Yep. And then he, right. es he escaped. We met the crazy old one, right? Uh, yes, that's true. You feel like you did, in fact, meet um, crazy old Jimmy Change, though at the time mm -hmm. he was just a crazy lunatic. Hmm. Yep. Um, well, actually, Valoran sits down and pulls out some paper. Now, this is good, though. We we can we learn some things about this vampire lord that we saw, right? Did anyone catch a name? Anyone? Anyone? I mean, he said he was Miravas. Is it was it Miravas? I don't know. That's what he said. Did he? I think he said something about us interfering with her chasing Miravas. Yeah. He said he said, quote, you have hunted Miravas for far too long. Quote. Oh, I just assumed he was being douchey and speaking in the third person. Or I don't know. He's just a minion of Miravas? In which case, I mean he totally kicked their asses real quick. <laughs> yeah, but it wasn't. Us. I mean, it felt pretty much like it was us. Yeah, but it wasn't us. I had a guitar <laughs> and not the sweet harp, and I was a dude. Yeah, but if I were to like, <laughs> it felt like basically I was casting my own spells, but not my own spells. Look, what did we learn? That's all I want to know. This is good. What did we learn? We learned it can shape shift into some big bat thing. It can slit throats really quick. We learned that. We learned it has lots of minions that can hide really well, and we don't really have much chance to see them. Right? What else did we learn? So it's a big cheater. Yeah. No honor. She does the finger eyes at, at, at uh, Korak. Sons of bitches with no honor. We gotta take them down. We just need to finish collecting the relics and combine their powers. Do, 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 do. And yeah, who still needs one of these? Die. I do. Frederick. Frederick, yeah, yeah. Uh, and Swift Eye. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah, I wouldn't mind finding another one though. It would be cool. 
think that's how it works. You sure? Is this another one of those like Miravas assumptions? We don't know. Maybe there are more. I don't know. If we spend like a year, I could research. That's probably a good plan. Just give me a year in a library. I'll find out. Oh, the library. Do we know where the other two are? Um, yeah. You sure know do. at least where one is. Sweet. Let's go. One is in CISA, but that was the one we probably should do really quick. Because isn't CISA like a evil hive of scum and villainy now? I was say, isn't it falling apart? Yeah. Yeah. We were basically told not to go there until we're real ready. Shit, I feel I ready. I feel like we're really <laughs> ready. Swift Eye's going to stand up and tamp her quarterstaff into the ground. I'm not a man. I have feet, but not like that feet. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody net up. We're going to CESA. Whoa, whoa. There, there is one past the rivers to the west, too. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm cool with CESA. It's, it's kind of like the only home I've ever known. But there is another one. Past west, past the rivers to the west that I know about. Does somebody have a map they could pull up? Yeah, where are we? Are we? Why? Not that it really yes. benefits Swift Eye. Yeah, I start tapping the map. And share. Yeah. Not really sure where past the rivers, but. Somewhere over there, I think. Maybe, maybe here. I'm not really <laughs> sure which river it's past, but it is to the west. <laughs> Might it be there? Ooh, I bet it's in Pol Palomalu. Are we really that far north? Are we way oh, up there? Yeah, you are. Shit. Yeah, you you teleported to Napsa, and then you tree walked to this uh, lake thing. Right, 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 right. There we go. Uh. Yeah, I don't know exactly where the one to the west is. I could, I know, I know. We can try to talk to the the, the thieves guild in Cisa if we want to. I wouldn't recommend it though. Maybe the. What are they gonna do? Steal I mean, from us? Or kill us? Because we're getting involved in their business. I don't know. They're basically the people that that uh, Varys spent all of his time. I'm Harm. Harm spent all of his time killing instead of you know being a big brother. Oh. <laughs> Feelings. Maybe the bad druid guy can tree walk us. Yeah, hey, buddy, can you get us a CISA? I have a name. Hey, Tozu, can you get us a CISA? See, there's a lady with respect. I mean, maybe. What's in it for Tozu? I can will I... write three songs about you. Mm -mm. I mean... And I... give you some gold. Oh, gold! Well, what's in Caesar anyways? You're all talking about some relics and some stuff. I don't know what's happening. We're saving the world. Yeah, yeah, me too, by bearing horses that are halves. <laughs> it's the Lord's work you're doing. Yep, one of them. He kind of spits on the ground. Before we do anything, we should rest. I'm going to start casting Liam in Sunny Hut. Well, what, you, what you doing there? All right, Tozu, we're going to camp. It's called a ritual. Spellcasters can do it to cast a spell over ten minutes. Uh -huh. We're, we're going to take a long nap, and then you're going to take us to CISA, and I'm going to write one song about you and give you a bag of gold. Bag of gold, you say? Yeah. What What size a bag of gold? Like a bag of holding? Mm, nope. Kind of gets real close to you. <laughs> I mean... How big a bag? Yeah? 300 gold. Uh, 
300 gold? I mean... That's a lot of gold. Three, 300. Really worth that much gold? Hmm. You know, if I was a, a farrier of certs, one to ferry one across the land, um, I feel that my wages would be <laughs> maybe 500. You mean if you were a farrier? All right, 500, <laughs> but I'm not writing any songs about you. Nope, I want one song, and I want it to be majestic. About good old Tozu and his wonders, and that he wasn't a liar. See? He's real. All right, one song, 400 gold. Make a... Make a deception check. Deception? Liar. Ah, yes, 400. We were saying 400 and a song. Absolutely. And he spits in his hand and he puts it up. Yep, Clabby spits in her hand and shakes. <laughs> and he slaps it. Um, I can't wait. A song of old Tozu. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I need to rest to get my midget back. So, um, well, I'll see y'all in the morning. And he just goes over and just passes out a po uh, across from a tree. <laughs> yeah, I'm casting Lehman's Tiny Hut, and I'm going to sleep. I would say by this point, uh, you have definitely cast it the, the yes. normal, you said what, 10, 10 feet? Uh, yeah, it's a 10 foot hut. Uh, the Ten foot uh, impenetrable sphere, uh, and you guys have seen her cast this before, uh, and you kind of instinctively start kind of moving towards um, the actual uh, orb around it. Um, you kind of make a little campfire, keep you warm inside the hut, inside the sphere. Uh, you very quickly hear Tozu starting to snore, and uh, you hear a couple like. <laughs> Ooh, a song about me. Ooh. Oh God. Um, and um, yeah, you guys. Uh, are you resting then? Yeah, I'm resting. Awesome. For sure. Uh, I think that is a wonderful place to stop. Um, I'm gonna give you all hey, a long man. rest. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Need rest. that rest. Long. Boom. Everyone's long rested. Um. Ah.